Happiness is what we feel when we're up in the mountains, driving these narrow alpine roads. It's what we feel when you swim in the blue lake, when we enjoy a glass of wine at sunset, and when we have a morning coffee in the forest. A lack of happiness is what brought us to where we are today. It's what drove us to buying a van, quitting our 9 to 5 jobs, and traveling the world full time. Escaping the rat race was more of an instinct than an actual decision for us. There was nothing hard or difficult about it. It was essential to live a life full of purpose and meaning. Six months after we met, we traveled through Australia together. For a year, we camped around the country with nothing but a 20-year-old Jeep, a rooftop tent and our backpacks. That exact feeling, when we were looking out of our tent, watching some wallabies play around while the sun rose over the desert, was so raw and pure that we both knew it was what we needed. No fancy car, no big house, no crazy career, just us and our freedom. In the years when we were building our van, life felt hollow and empty sometimes. We were stuck in a job, working for someone else, with the knowledge that in the end, we were just a number. Replaceable. The apartment we were living in was comfortable. So comfortable, it deceived us into buying way too many appliances and furniture we thought we needed. But they made life easier. They made staying in the rat race for three years more bearable. Almost as if we could stay in it forever. But we didn't find meaning in that life. No dishwasher, no city trip or Sunday brunch could give us a feeling of the pure, raw happiness we had back in that tent. No matter how comfortable life was, our minds were constantly drifting. To the desert, to the mountains, to the sea. Back to our roots, to what makes life meaningful. Leaving everything behind to live in a van was the most natural thing we've ever done. Even though the process definitely wasn't easy. After almost four years of feeling trapped, the open road was finally ours again. We had our freedom back. We hiked in the Black Forest in Germany, saw the most fairy tale castles, experienced a carnival in Venice, did a road trip through the Dolomites, drove through snow covered landscapes. That tent feeling was finally back. What about money? Is the question we got the most. Without a mortgage nagging in the back of your mind, it's easier to make rash decisions, which is what we did with our business. We're photographers and videographers. It's our passion. Instead of burying it as a weekend activity like society teaches us to do about all our hobbies, we're trying to make a living from it. It's not easy. The advantage of the rat race is a steady income, a regular paycheck. Security of money coming in every month. We don't have that certainty. Some weeks we get zero clients, which means zero income. Some months we have so much going on, we're working 10 hours a day. There's nothing regular about it. It's hard work, it's stressful, and every few weeks we completely change our mind and our business idea. Or we take a course, or a temporary remote job. We might wake up tomorrow and discover a new passion or a new opportunity might arise. While another one might fail. This is not a constant vacation. This is not a holiday. We're living our lives with the same challenges and struggles as anyone living a classical way of life. But on our terms. We're making things work. Even though that means that sometimes we have to do things that don't align with our values or long-term vision. But that's okay. We can look past these things. Because our minds are free. Eddie Vedder says it perfectly. You think you have to want more than you need. When that paycheck comes in every month, you have to spend it on something bigger, something better, every single time. Maybe you spend it on a two-week vacation to a tropical island since that's all the time you're allowed off of work. Maybe you spend it shopping every weekend or in expensive restaurants. It's all part of the game. These little sprinkles of short-term joy are designed to keep you in the race. 
to keep you just comfortable enough to not question things. That's how society keeps you trapped. That's how society kept us trapped. Being a part of the rat race is nothing more than a mindset. Being aware that you're part of it means you're already halfway out of it. There are other ways of life than just to follow the path that's been laid out for you since you were born. Just because you were raised in one place doesn't mean you have to spend the rest of your life there. Choosing a different lifestyle is challenging. There's a lot of misunderstanding and judgment about it. People being stuck in the rat race are rather pragmatic and rational with barely any consideration for what the heart wants. We've been there. Changing your life choices can make other people question their own, which terrifies most people. We're facing challenges on a daily basis. But we find value in our life. We're almost 1,000 meters on a mountain in Germany. We're free, we're more connected to nature and to each other than ever, and we're letting our instincts take over. In the end, the heart wants what the heart wants. Let it take over once in a while, and you will find your own path. A path of meaning, value and freedom. of happiness.